everybody, I'm Matt Lyles. This is the first and hopefully a long series where I show you how you can be more effective in your personal life and in your professional life. When we think of the balance across all the areas of our life, uh, personal, professional, financial, spiritual, emotional, we can't grow in just one area while we let all the other areas go. So, over time, I want to talk with you and help you learn how you can be a more effective leader, a more effective team member, a more effective parent, a more effective communicator, a more effective writer, a more effective mentor, a more effective mentee. You get the idea. One of the best ways for us to be more effective is to have a growth mindset and to recognize that continual need to grow in our lives. As a Christian, I learn lots of lessons from the Bible, and the book of Proverbs is one of those books that has lots of life lessons to teach you how to be more effective. Even Proverbs 1.5 tells us, let the wise listen and add to their learning, and let the discerning continue to get guidance. So when we think of goal setting in our lives, when we think of trying to achieve the next level, you know, too many times we'll set a goal and we'll never even make it. Sometimes we'll set a goal and then once we reach it, we stop right there. But when we think about a growth mindset, when we think about being more effective, being more effective never stops. You know, about a year ago, I was talking with someone who was, uh, I think they were in their early to mid 70s, and I was talking to them about uh, leaving a legacy and life plans and what else they wanted to do with the rest of their life. I was disheartened to hear when they said, well, at my age, there's really nothing left for me to do. There's nothing left for me to learn and, no, and, and nothing that I should really be growing on. So I want you to understand as long as you're still here, as long as you're still breathing, as long as you still have a pulse, God has a purpose for you. And if He has a purpose for you, that means there's plenty of opportunity for you to continue to grow. Even Psalm 92 tells us that the righteous will continue to bear fruit in their old age and will continue to stay fresh and green. So once you make that decision to have a growth mindset and you're continuing to grow, continuing to be more effective, then when you do set a goal, when you do set levels you want to achieve and you reach that goal, make sure you take time to celebrate. So when you reach that goal, say, hooray, I made it. But now, what can I do to be even more effective? But I want to caution you. As we think about growing and being more effective, uh, don't compare yourself to others. Being more effective is not about being more effective than the person next to you, unless you're being chased by a bear. Being more effective is about how you can continue to grow and be more effective than you were before. So at this point, those of you who don't know me that well may be thinking, wow, Matt, you're in front of a camera talking about how to be more effective. You must be an expert. And those of you that do know me may be thinking, wow, Matt, I do know you're an expert on pop culture, and I know you're an expert on awesome hair, but I don't know if I'd call you an expert on being more effective. And that's the point. I'm not the expert here, but I've learned a lot of lessons along the way. I've learned from my own experiences, and I've learned from others. And I want to be able to share what I've learned with you to help you grow. And I'm also learning every day. As I'm learning these lessons, I can take the lessons and share them with you. And there may be some lessons that I haven't learned yet that you need help with. I can dive into those, learn how to overcome some of those struggles, learn some tips and tricks, and then share those with you. Now here's some information before I go. I want to share with you, I'm a Christian, and I wholeheartedly believe and follow in Jesus Christ. And with that, um, a lot of what I share, a lot of the lessons I'm going to be sending to you will include biblical lessons. Even if you don't believe in the Bible, the Bible still has a lot of great life lessons on how you can be more effective. And another thing to know is I am currently employed full time. However, my views are my own views and not necessarily my employer's views. And while I may share lessons from time to time that I've learned throughout my career, I will rarely, if ever, share any specific information about my employer. So if you like the idea of this series, then please hit like, comment below, and subscribe. 
If you know of someone who could use more help in being more effective in their personal life or their professional life, then share this with them. And if you have any requests on any future subjects that I can share, any ideas on things you're struggling with, then comment below. If you're struggling with a challenge that's maybe, maybe a deep, dark secret, then just say you're asking for a friend. You know, I'll know you're asking for you, you'll know you're asking for you, but everyone else, they'll really think you're asking for a friend. I look forward to hearing from you again, and I look forward to talking with you again soon. Until then, be on the lookout for more lessons where I can help you be a more effective you.